Hey, we're in principle drives the pattern. So check this out. Diane's in a classic floor press position where she can bend the bar, break the bar, spread the bar, right? Grr, create. And remember, you just need as much torsion as required to create stability. You don't have to be at peak cobra torsion. You just need enough to be stable, right? Not to move, not to wiggle. But if what happens if we turn Diane's hands around backwards? All of a sudden, if we have her press in this position, which is a valve press, you'll notice, can you create a lot of torsion there? Press that over your head. That's much trickier. The demands through the shoulder go through the roof. Try this for yourself. Put yourself into a position where you can't create any active torsion between the bar implement in the shoulder of the body or the foot in the body and the hip. You'll see that the more choice you, you make to solve a movement problem, the less choice you have in creating a stable system.